Hi. Um, so someone asked me if I could explain how I created uh, this shot and this one using the same watch face. And it's called the Drosty effect. It's a plugin that you can get for Photoshop. It's actually been around for a long, it's a recursive algorithm. It's been around for a long time. So um, the implementation is kind of cool. Um, it's not limited to a watch face. I did this with a picture of myself, just holding a blank picture frame and then recursively uh, going into it. So the first thing you need in addition to Photoshop is called the Pixel Bender plugin for Photoshop. And that lets you use the Pixel Bender effect called the Drosty effect. Once you've downloaded and installed both of those and you have a picture like this one that I took just of a watch on a black background, um, you'll need to isolate the thing you want to recursively apply the Drosty effect to. So I wanted to do it to the watch face specifically, so I have first masked it out, but you need an isolated layer for this to work properly on. And it works best if it's square. So first we're going to convert to a smart object. Go in here and edit our smart object. Now we're on a square frame. You need to know the size of it. So we are about 3,000 pixels square. That's important to know. So now filter, pixel bender. Yeah, I know it's going to need a lot. Drosty effect. Now the important thing, 3,000, 3,000. So here is a initial spiral. You have a lot of variables you can play with here. Um, you can adjust strands. So let's see here. We will adjust this a little bit. Rotate you. Center shift. Levels will help show, give you depth. You can stop where it ends, how deep the transparency goes. Um, there's a lot of really interesting effects that can be applied here, but just for simplicity of this demo, we'll say OK. That gives us this. We'll say save here, which will apply to our smart layer. Or smart object. So now we're back in our main document and you can see we have a pretty cool effect that's ultra high resolution. It's really cool. Um, so if we wanted to do that a different way, let's see here. So there's our smart object again. If we wanted to do something where it fits back into its folder. We'll go back in here. Go back to Drosty. Do not want to actually apply it. Pixel Bender. Yes, I know. Drosty effect. We'll reduce our strands to zero. We will adjust our zoom. Let's see here. Can I get out of that? Curiosity. So we can adjust this to exactly where we want it. Aliasing, shift background levels. Which one do I want to do? There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much what I want it to do. Can add some anti-aliasing, but it makes it look really weird while you're working on it, so I usually don't. And now we'll say OK to this. And then the idea would be to crop this in. Maybe change your blending mode, but yeah, probably not. Um, so I would layer mask this in. I'd get rid of the black.
super crude. Oops. But you can kind of start getting the idea. And it, when you really play with it, I was able to get something like that by just adjusting all the values. So download these plugins in Photoshop, take some pictures, and play with it. It can create some really interesting really kind of cool images that I, I really like. So anyway, hope this helps someone. Thanks. Bye.